Hello and welcome to Collide. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to fold my Origami Sonic right here. I hope you enjoy folding him. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. And just a quick mention, this will be a an update version of the previous tutorial I've done. Just because I didn't like the the original version. So I'm just gonna go, go ahead and redo the tutorial completely from right here. But right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and like get all of the diagonal flaps and the horizontals basic lines there, which I need that for the design actually. And next we're gonna start with the cupboard base, but we're actually gonna divide it up this whole paper into eighths, like so. So just by doing those pleats there is good enough. So get it like that, and then next value for these parts, these triangle flaps up like this. So this will help create the flaps for Sonic's uh, spiny hair. So we'll get it like that. And then unfold the design. Like so. So next, we're gonna extend this one crease line. Not all the way. I wasn't supposed to do it like that. Or like this. But you just wanna fold like to the very like center line right there. And then go ahead and fold this up to the center. And then fold this part up. Okay, once you get this, we're gonna create like a half bird base pattern on the very center. So this could be achieved by just folding this line along here and doing like an inside reverse fold right here to help create the crease. And then fold this flap up. Be sure this part is nice and straight and fold it all the way to the very edge. Once you get this, we'll then fold a, a line along here. Land it all the way across. Then you'll fold this flap up and squash this little triangle part here. Fold it up and then fold this flap. <coughs> this flap. Just right here. As straight as you can. And then fold this flap up along this line here, but don't crease all the way. Alright. So now we have those parts done. For the parts around the head. Now next, we want to create the middle flaps by doing like this, where we pleat like so.
and then and then we want to create a line that will well actually I really need to point out here because we want to create a line that's just right along this diagonal part where the diagonal and horizontal parts meet like this all the way across So, uh, hopefully pointing that out with the pencil helps that out more. So that way you're not getting any other, creating any extra lines that you don't want, which I don't think we all like. After that, you'll fold it in half. And folding it along the line we just made, we'll then inside reverse fold this part to help create the square that connects the middle flaps on the back of Sonic. And then just unfold the whole thing. So now I'll create some quick flat, I mean, creases along the edges here. Then I'll create lines for the legs. Just be right on that second line from the edge on each side. And then I'll create a quick flap for the tail. And then this next part will help create actual crease flaps for the arms, which I haven't done before in the original tutorial. So this will hopefully make the collapsing part in the next part easier. So we'll create these two flaps here first, well, creases. And then we want to create like how this one arm flap connects from the line we just made and that one horizontal flap that connects from the one hair flap, not on the center, but on the edge, but just right here. And that should be good enough there. I didn't worry about creating ones for the bottom parts. Right here, I'm actually going to extend these creases more. Like so. And then, I think the last thing to add is going to be more... Just one more... Crease here. For the one middle flap for the hair piece. Again, just made the collapse the part easier, which I think you do want. And I think that finishes the crease pattern. And the next step will be collapsing. But here's the crease pattern all highlighted just to make it easier here. So these will be the head at least the hairs, especially this middle part here. This will be the face of Sonic. The arms, just right along here. It's not going to be exactly like around these middle points there. But then there's the legs. These are going to be the middle flaps for uh, the back hair of Sonic. 
around here is going to be the body and the tail. And alright, that should cover this part here. Like and subscribe if you want, and see ya. Bye bye.